Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 157. <clears throat> 3 plus 4 plus 25 plus 20 plus 5 plus 30 plus 60 plus 5 plus 5 is 157. Because math. Oh boy. Oh man alive. Here's your math lesson. There is your math lesson. All right. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. Good to have you with us. It is so nice to it have you here. It is just about the middle of July. Do you believe it? Nope. We are officially halfway through 2020. Yes. Yippee. Halfway there, people. We're halfway there. You know. But We're it's like there. the terrible twos. You know, it's not bounded strictly on the calendar so right you know, yes don't get excited right <laughs> we had a very good week <laughs> i mean i think we had a pretty we darn had a good week. very good week um the highlight of the week okay was tuesday i mean i would argue with you with that i think both tuesday and wednesday were pretty equal oh yeah yeah, awesome. yeah 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 but but tuesday was was the first of yeah of and we alluded to it in yeah. last week's video right so by the time we had posted our later video because remember our video last week was a little bit late because mm -hmm. we were in indiana yeah um we mentioned that we were going to have a special visitor right at keepsakes yeah and then we made the video the evening of mm -hmm. the day that we saw our good friend Diane. Yeah. Now, uh, for anybody new, mm -hmm. uh, hi. Hello. Um, Welcome. We uh, were joined during our trip to the Netherlands in December mm -hmm. by um, several lovely ladies, and uh, four of them were from the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, five, technically. Five. Mm -hmm. And then we had a couple of ladies from. England, mm -hmm. and um, we have um, just enjoyed our friendship with these two of uh, these uh, several ladies. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, oh, that's right, five. Um, one of the, one of the uh, lovely ladies from North Carolina mm -hmm. uh, was coming to Ohio for a family reunion and decided she was close enough to drive down to our area of Ohio mm -hmm. and come to keepsakes. Yeah. And we were thrilled. Yes, and we were. Um, originally I thought, uh, you know, she would come sometime in the middle of the day and we would go out to eat, maybe someplace where we could eat outside and mm -hmm. um, so forth and so on. But uh, as it turns out, Diane drove down from Newark, Ohio, uh, about two and Columbus a half. Columbus area? Yeah, east of oh. Columbus. Um, and um, was there when keepsakes opened? Yes. Um, I followed Stephanie over to work that day, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Diane said, you know, let's figure out lunch instead of me staying later down here, so, yeah. you know, it's she not have later to drive in the, the day to come. In any event, it was lovely to see Diane. It was. Um, and uh, we have pictures on our wall of mm -hmm. our trip to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and uh, she plays a prominent part in that. So yes. she was bowled over by our shop and um, met some of our friends, of course, Barbara and Lynn, mm -hmm. and Stephanie was there as well. Yes. Uh, we took Jimmy John's and went and sat outside and visited, and she spent um, uh, a good amount of time and a good amount of money. Yes, ma'am. And uh, we had a lovely visit. So she brought a box of Cheryl's sure cookies, did. which are oh, famous. So good. Uh, from Columbus, and uh, I ate the last one today. I know you did. You so I did. I did. Um, so um, that was one of the highlights from the week. Yes. And hi, Diane. <laughs> and what a great day we had. Yeah. Uh, lots of excitement and lots of. Um, Lots of uh, chatter. Chatter. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. And yeah. then. And then um, I had gotten a message. Well, did you get a message? I don't know. No, I, don't... I think it was mostly between you and her. Okay. So I got a message um, from the lovely and amazing Becca over at Sambray Stitches. Um, 
and we if you are familiar with her channel you know that she's been doing this interview with the floss tuber series and um we have heard a lot of different floss tubers talk about her and i had even said to pam a couple weeks ago i said I don't think we've ever checked her out. Like, we need to get on the Sambray Stitches yeah. train. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we checked her out. We've been watching her interviews. We, right. It's been amazing to watch. And then, it just so happened, by literally sheer chance, right. um, that she shot me a uh, Instagram message. And she asked Pam and I if we would be interested in being interviewed for her... Um, interview with the floss tuber right. series we said of course and absolutely 100 percent, we were honored and flattered and um it was so funny because she said i'm just so shocked that you said yes and i was just like of course of course yeah of yeah, course we'll yeah, say yeah. absolutely so lots of fun she has uh what 13 15 15 standard questions that she's been using in the series and um so so the we, questions are all the same for every right 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 Excuse me, every floss over the kids she, interview. She shoots them to you ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So we were and able to like, prepare. So we were able to, um, you know. Prepare uh, to a certain Rattle degree. around our brains for mm -hmm. uh, good answers for those questions. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so then on Wednesday, so how she does it is she uses Zoom. Right. And so like I can't even imagine like the amount of like brain power it takes to edit that and put that all together. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. so she it's a zoom call so we just called she called us right. or whatever on zoom right and then she records it on her end mm -hmm. um and then she allowed us to like send her photos of anything we wanted <clears throat> which we did and um so she went through and inserted those and um so we had the actual interview on wednesday and then it got posted uh today on sunday yeah she um is in the pacific northwest mm -hmm. so three hours behind us yeah and she's uh she schedules her uploads to youtube yes. and so she told us that it would go up midnight our time no midnight her, her time, time which meant three in the morning our time right so we watched it this morning and yeah. uh, it was total total fun yes it was so so much fun and so um i've been going back and like listening to or listening to and reading the comments on that video and um one thing that i thought of that I don't even know if I mentioned to you is that, you know, a lot of the basics, like how do we get started stitching? Why do we start a flash channel? Like all of those mm -hmm. kind of questions. Mm -hmm. If you have only started watching us recently, like even in the last oh, yeah. year, Some of our you might not, viewers. you might not know the answers right. to those questions. Um, and so she goes super in depth and we are not shy people. No. Um, and so it was a super, super fun, um, interview and right. we really hope that you all will go check yeah. it out yeah um and i want to thank becca for doing oh, the series it was lots of fun for reaching out to us she for... is totally like easy to talk to oh for sure chat with mm -hmm. she is just a very very nice person yes. and um so we thoroughly enjoyed it go check her out subscribe yeah. to her channel so that yeah. you get all the uh, wonderful notifications all the um interviews uh, interviews that she's been doing because yes. it, boy we're a, we're a motley crew yeah you know? so anyway and one thing i want to say on the heels of that interview is that um please if you have any questions for us um whether it's cross -stitch related or life related our inboxes are always open yeah. so whether it's an email or right. a instagram message or whatever whatever oh yeah and um, we Realize, and I said this in the video, but I just want to reiterate that we do not take our position in floss tube as lightly. Like we don't take it lightly, and so we right. under like we want. However, we're not any more special than any of you watching. No. So, please, but we know there are a lot of you out there. So, yes. So um, please feel free to, if you have any yeah. questions, we'd be happy to answer them. For Absolutely, you. whether it's a comment or an email yeah. or a message on Instagram. Connecting with you, you all is my favorite part. Don't hesitate. Yes. Yeah. So that was Tuesday. That was Wednesday. I mean Wednesday. Read the notes, Pam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when did you get this email? I got an email from a lovely woman named Lauren. Hello, and Lauren. Hi, Lauren. And she um, sent this email on Friday. Just got it Friday. Okay. And she said that she is in... Chickapee, Massachusetts. <laughs> Chickapee. 
And so she, <coughs> um, she said that uh, her boys watch our channel with her. And so we want to say a special, special hello today to, I want to make sure I pronounce them right. Yes. Joshin. Yes. And Finnegan. Finnegan. Hi, guys. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah. So we love families watching. Yes. Uh, this is a family-friendly channel. It so um, we encourage families to watch. We know a lot of husbands watch, but uh, especially... When we talk about New England, and mm -hmm. she said that always makes the ears perk up, and the boys love it. So and can I just say that Finnegan is one of my f absolute favorite all-time names? Oh, it wasn't that. It wasn't that um, they live in Chicopee. No, I managed to screw that up. Hold on a second. Um, when I showed a. Um, the oceanfront property kit. She's from Chicopee. Is yeah. she? Yeah. That's where I'm, I'm from. from. Okay, I didn't screw it up. <laughs> okay, so, but the Jan Lynn kit, Jan Lynn, at least at the time, was based in Chicopee. Right. And so are they. So, again, big hello to Lauren Joshin. 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 Yes. Hello, Joshin. And Finnegan. And Finnegan, too. Yes. So, there you go. Okay. So, we wanted to do that. Yes. Absolutely. We love... Uh, you want to save this email, though, right? Uh, yes. Sure. Okay. Of course. Okay. So. Fantastic. All right. Absolutely. So, let's do our hashtag. Let's do our hashtag, so shall we? So, the hash our hashtag that we're talking about right. is hashtag Stitch Harmony. And Stitch Harmony is our meager attempt at connecting Stitchers together. So we realize that we are super lucky here in Cincinnati to have the cross stitch community that we have, along with the needle workshop that we have, which is Keepsakes, that brings all of us amazing Stitchers together. And we realize that we're lucky in that regard and that not everybody out there has that. So um, if you are someone who stitches out there alone and you're solo and you want to know if there's any other stitchers that maybe live in your town or your area or mm. around you somewhere um then comment on our, our video um if you're seeing this for the first time you can comment on this video and um use the hashtag stitch harmony all one word with a with a pound sign in front of it and then we pick a comment each week from each video um so last week was episode 156, so we picked a comment from 156 to shout out and share with you all. Right. And then if you... Actually, we we picked one from 155 last week. Wouldn't we have? We picked... Last week we picked one from 155, but this week we picked one from Correct. 156. Okay, okay. got so, it. So... Um, from the previous. From the previous video. Correct. Okay. We're on the same page about that. We've done this 45 times right, now. So. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. We're good. So, the featured commenter. Hey, is this must be the day for Massachusetts. Let's oh, hear it for the well, Bay State. Look at that, the Bay uh, State. The Bay State. Is that really what it is? Yeah, of course, the Bay State. Yeah, Massachusetts Bay. Come on. I mean, I know that there's a bay there, Pam. I'm not dumb, but Come I just. On. Come on. Whatever, Pam. All right, so Stitch Harmony, and um, she's in Massachusetts. If you so, didn't catch that, all you before. Massachusetts people. Hey, uh, maybe Lauren and them could. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, comes to us from, have you been listening? Uh, comes to us from Jenna J. Hello, Jenna. Jenna J. And she says, I love watching you two. I'm always laughing and smiling when you're on Thanks. Stitch Harmony. Yeah. My name is Jenna. J-E-N-N-A. Hi, Jenna. And I'm a new stitcher this year. So this Welcome is perfect. Aboard. This is perfect. And she lives in Midway, Mass. Mm -hmm. And I'm always looking to meet new stitchers and would love to meet others in my area. Thank you for all the joy you bring. So. Yay. So this is how this works. Right. So <clears throat> if you live in, around, nearby, within driving distance of Medway, Massachusetts, then please comment on this video and say, hi, Jenna. I'm whatever your name is. And I would love to have you as a stitchy friend. Right. And then it is up to you, Miss Jenna, to... I read through the comments on this particular video and start interacting with people and making plans. Now, we do realize that the um, 
current health situation um, is limiting our one-on-one -on -one or group right. in-person gatherings. Right. So we highly encourage you all to look into Zoom or WebEx or some sort of sure. online video conference right. thing. Use technology. Yep. And start that way. Right. Um, and then I am confident that one day we'll all be allowed to safely interact in person with one another and then you guys can meet in real life absolutely so we hope that that um works out right so good luck jenna and luck, everybody jenna. that lives near jenna yeah all right all you medway stitchers unite all right and that means it's time for <clears throat> Doo -doo -doo! pam's pin comment yeah uh every week i go through and i heart every single comment and uh, answer any questions that might be in a comment. Yes. And find one that I like, particularly. One that strikes your fancy, if you will. I guess so. So this comes to us from a woman whose YouTube name is Mary Mac. Miss so, Mary Mac, Mac. Right, right. So this was her comment. Great video, of course, and so newsy. Cool. Don't remember that we were that newsy, but I guess we, we share were. a lot of useful information. Yeah. Okay. Apparently. I love stuff. Pam's finish. It's so sweet that one woman stash and starts are with other stitchers. And she's referring, of course, to um, Checker Cheek. Checker Cheek. I bet you have a little thought of her and for her whenever you look at that piece. And I do. That would make me very happy. We really are held together by these threads in so many ways. So I thought that was mm. a very sweet mm. way of putting it. Love it. Touch my heart. So thank you, Mary Mac. And that uh, comment will be pinned to the top of all the comments from last week's video. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So before what? we get into the next category, oh. oh, I need to explain what's about to happen. Yeah. So, A. These are facts you need to know. Right. A. Right. We love a good sound effect here. It just keeps to Yeah. You know. Hence kazoo. the kazoo. Right. And the bell. The bell. The things. You know. Right. All the things. So I'm a little sad that I have not thought of this yet. But. But. Thanks to our dear friend Katie and her amazing husband, Andy, a little seed was planted. Yes. And then this sound effect was born. Now, wait a minute. We need to open the segment totally yeah. with the overall segment. Correct. With. So let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Okay. And let's start with whips. Is a sound effect on my phone. I like that. <laughs> so that's going to be the new... Every... <laughs> Every, every week. I love a good sound Stand effect. Stand back. There's four different whips. And th we picked the best one. We picked one. the best one. So, so let's there you go. go with. There whips. you go. All right. I promise I won't play it that much in fu future no. weeks. It will just be In the one. future, it'll just be one. I'm just very excited about my new sound effect. Okay. There you go. Okay, Pam. All right. It says you go first. That's because I'm going to go first. Okay. Uh, I have been monogamously stitching this week. Yes, you have. Yes, I have. Um, because I am shooting for a finish. Right. On my Curious Bunny mm -hmm. by Teresa Kogut. You are almost there. You know, I really am. Yeah. I really am. So, that is how much I have done. Mm -hmm. I got the bunny done this week. <laughs> Look at his little foot. Look at the foots. Yep. So cute. Um, so this is stitched in all of the call for colors, um, except for the green. I changed the green to Weeping Willow by Classic Color Works. Um, and uh, the fabric that it's stitched on is a 40 count cottage stone, which is which was a fabric of the month from Color and Cotton. Um, so I just think he's just the cutest little thing that I've ever seen ever. Um, in case you're new here, his name is Wilbur, and he's picking flowers for his girlfriend. So, 
Isn't he so cute? Um, somebody asked me, like, how do I want to finish this? And I'm like, I have no idea. Um, but I, I, I kind of think that he'd be cute as, like, you know, like a domed stand-up. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't he be oh, cute? Oh, yeah. That's... I don't know if it's too wide, though. No? I mean, think of the ones we showed last from week Sue. from Sue. Yeah. How freaking cute mm -hmm. would that be? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, it's I don't know. Sit on a shelf. Right. Yeah. So, um, I am fairly confident that I will have this done oh, by yeah. the next video. Oh, yeah. By the middle of the week. If not If sooner. not tonight. Yeah. Because I, all I have left yeah. on it is I have to finish this flower and there's one more flower down here and then the green leaves. That's it. That's it. And, it, it and it's done. Watch for the Instagram post. Watch for it. She's going to finish it. Yeah. Okay. okay. What have you been working on this week, Pam? Well, I've been working on a couple of things this week. Okay. Um, I am working on um, the January Cottage from the I'll Be Home series, All Cottages in One mm -hmm. from Twin Peak Primitives. And I'm doing them all on one piece of 32 count dirty linen. Mm -hmm. And this is a sal that I am hosting. Hosting. Mm -hmm. And there is a Facebook group mm -hmm. if you're interested. It's called I'll Be Home. It's linked below. And it will be linked below. So, um, <coughs> I am also, uh, rounding third and heading for home. Oh boy. And I don't know about tonight, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I would say tonight for sure. So, this is the January cottage and... Pam, looks so good. I absolutely love it. Uh, today I got in the little snowman and he know? needs his... Carrot nose and his twig arm. And, oh, he does have a twig arm. Oh, that's funny. Uh, he also needs... No, oh, that's it for him. Yeah. And then there's smoke coming out of the chimneys, and there are oh, snowflakes really? as well. well so uh, the bunnies are in, and I need to obviously finish the word January. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you what. Tell when me. we were up at Kia's, <laughs> she searched this big piece of fabric, and I feel so liberated. I am beside myself so working on this. But isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. And we have had monster heat here, and just to be working on a winter scene mm -hmm. has just really been... Um, does it cool you off, Pam? It did. It, did. it <laughs> added a little frostiness to my well, to my I'm air happy. conditioning. <laughs> I'm happy about that. <laughs> to my central so, air. Yeah, to my central air. So yeah, it's real. Pretty, I am Pam. loving it. I love the colors that the twins picked, and Absolutely. so uh, and it's been fun to watch everybody's progress. I Those know. that are doing all twelve on one piece. Mm. Um, we're, we're working on January 1st because you typically start in the top left. Yes. And then some people started with um, July mm -hmm. so that they would have something for this month. And it's been so fun to see cool. everybody. It's hashtag I'll be home Sal. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. can see some of the other people. So. You sure can. The other thing I've been working on, um, I kind of... It's not close to being finished, I realize, but I'm kind of in a different different um, aspect of it, if you will. This is the Women of the Mayflower from the 2004 Timelines magazine. Fine Lines. Fine Lines. What did I say? Fine Lines. Timelines. No. Fine Lines. Yes. And... Um, I'm just here to help you out, Pam. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I mean by I'm at a different aspect now. I've done yeah, all the motifs... And now I'm working on words. So there's a verse up in the top, and it reads, To land anew we dare to roam, by ship we sail to our new home. Okay? So um, I'm not doing all the way over and then the next <coughs> line all the way over. I'm working Are you doing them right both at the same time? I'm working on both lines. So, so good. you can see that I'm working across yes. and then there's an overall border as well mm. right below the waves will be uh the words women of the mayflower mm -hmm. i had to check my picture two crowns on either end and then a listing of 
uh, several of the women who were on the Mayflower, and they are <clears throat> Remember Allerton, Sarah Eaton, Desire Minter, Rose Standish, Mary Brewster, Dorothy Bradford, Joan Tilly, Elizabeth Winslow, Susanna White, and Alice Mullins. So, um, and you're stitching that on what, Pam? <laughs> doubloon. 32 count doubloon. Lugana. Lugana, sorry. That's good. Um, and this is my lovely um, yeah, needle right. minder from Socks for Mom. So, that's where I am with that. And both are equally enjoyable. So, yes. um, I need to get back to my Look. July, right. which I called October. But my July ornament. Oh, that's right. I forgot you did that. called it October ornament uh, last week. And nobody corrected her, nobody which I think is hilarious. That. Come on, people. Listen up. Right. Um, listen up. <laughs> no, I need to get back to my ornament for the month. Yes. And uh, we have some gift smalls to make Start as well. Start working on. Yes. So, that was our own stitching for yes. this week. Yes. And okay. uh, we need to talk about our friends over in the Netherlands right now. I mean, yes, we do. Because? Because uh, each week we feature a pattern of the week from our amazing friends, uh, of the designers of Twin Peak Primitives. Right. And so how it works is we look through their amazing collection, and then we pick a chart that we love that we think you'll love too. We tell the girls they make it 20% off for all of our amazing viewers. Right. And it, the promotion lasts for... From video to video so if you are watching this video and episode 158 is up then it's no longer discounted but right if you're watching this before 158 is up go you got get, a whole week go get you some to go get it yes uh, last week um of course we only went from tuesday to sunday to sunday so <coughs> it was like right. sort of a truncated week but this week it's going to be discounted all week yeah and the pattern is called americana it is brand new from the twins Woo so uh they are continuing to design yeah. and and putting some great designs out there absolutely so we're going to show you a picture of americana right here here Isn't that cute? So cute. Yeah. Very, very colorful. Their yes. choice of colors is very good. Very, very good. So, so if you would like to get a copy of the pattern of the week, uh, you can do so by getting either a PDF download and you can get that from the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both linked below, or you can get a hard copy from uh, Threads and Twine. Right. And, uh, which is an online needle workshop and that is also listed below as well. So, um, just mentioned that you heard about it from us at checkout at any of those places and you can get your copy. Right. Absolutely. Yay. Okay. So go get it. Yes. All right. Do. That means it's time for mail call. <laughs> Who's going first? Me. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Get ready. Oh my goodness, so, we had no idea what was in this box. So I got a message from our amazing friend Glenda. Hi Glenda. Hi Glenda. Hi. Uh, Glenda is the one that gave us the Instant Pot, if you remember Glenda. Way back. Um, uh, a long and, time ago. And I've said this about her before, and I'll say it again. Yeah. And that her love language is gift giving, and she is yes. one of probably the most generous people I've ever met in my yeah. entire life. Yeah. yeah. So she sent me a message on Facebook, um last week maybe like or, i don't know like 10 days ago um and she said that a package was headed our way with my name on it um and that she was just so excited that her ups store was up and running again that she forgot to put a note or a card inside and i was like that's fine i had no problem so um this box comes and people i'm not kidding when i tell you that this box was literally Four feet long. Yes. Four, four feet. feet long. And it wasn't tubular. No, but it was but square. It was, it was triangle shaped. No, it wasn't. It was square. Square? Yeah, okay. It was full square. square. And it was like four feet long and it was like a foot high. Yeah. And I was like, what in God's green earth is inside of this box? Right. We had no idea. No idea. No idea. You guys want to see what it was? Okay, so how are you going to do this? You gotta start start over here. Don't hit anything. I know. Ready? Yes. 
yellow, brick, road. How freaking cool is that, you guys? She said that um, she got this vintage road sign at um, an auction, I think. And she said that she knew that it had to be mine. So she sent it to me. Isn't that neat? And I was telling Barbara about it, and she was like, where in the world are you going to hang that? And I said, on my Wizard of Oz wall? Yeah. Duh. Um, and I actually have a wall outside of my room in the hallway that um, I have a Wizard of Oz piece that Pam stitched for me. So I think this is going to go out there. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah. And I'm very excited. Thank you, Glenda. Yeah, that was that was amazing. I know it's not stitchy related. However, but if it weren't for Floss, yeah. you wouldn't know Glenda. And so. I'm working on that other Wizard of Oz piece for Steph. So. This yeah. is true. All right. Then, also in the mail this week from um, Amy. Right. I got this awesome package, and she sent me an extremely lovely note. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. It was very, very nice. Um, and she had messaged me and asked me for my address, and she said that she had a chart that she knew had to come home with me or had to be sent to me. And this is from Fairy Wool in the Wood, mm -hmm. and this is called Cat's Life, mm -hmm. which is so freaking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Fragile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. I like this one holding the, holding the champagne yeah. glass. Yeah. Day, night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get it? Yeah. So, so cute. Yeah. So, Cat's Life. Mm hmm And then she also sent me a copy of um, the March 2020 Issue 291 of the World of Cross Stitching magazine. And this is what this the cover mm -hmm. looks like. And um, there are some really super freaking cute designs in here. And there is a design by Emma Congdon, who is Stitcherobia, for those of you that don't know. And I love, I love Emma Congdon, but now I'm not going to be able to find it. Should have marked the page. Should have marked the page. Um, got it. Don't worry, I got it. So it's called Mum's the Word. Look at all these charts to do for your mom. There you go. Pam, look for these in a Mother's Day gift okay. near you. Okay. I got some time, though. So thank you. There's mm -hmm. some other really great projects in here. Sure. I love this. Um, it's a really great issue. So thank you so much, Amy. I really Amy, that was it. nice. Yes, I really do appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Okay, what did you get in the mail, Pam? Okay, um, more birthday wishes. Remember last week when you said it was going to end? Yeah. Um, so, got a sh got a. Sh oh, there, there it, is. it is. I just discovered something I thought I'd mislaid. That's funny. A um, couple of really funny cards, both from our friends Katie and Andy. Um, one is celebrate your birthday like a cat. And you gotta love Maxine. Gotta love it. Gotta love Maxine. And it says, do anything you damn well want. Yeah. On the inside. That's cool. So it says Maxine on the back. Maxine made her greeting card debut in 1986. Yeah. She's been keeping it crabby ever since. Yeah, Maxine. That's awesome. And, um, I yeah. I love that. Yeah. So Maxine card, I love her. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this one, this one, this one. So, are you ready? Look up now. <laughs> <laughs> now this is this is hysterical because inside so it says your birthday calls for a grocery cart at the liquor store <laughs> and i just love well, I, it i just like that it's a cat i know push it Pushing i mean it's cart. perfect so um a nice little treat a gift card to a restaurant yeah and no, no, no. um one of, our, one of our favorite restaurants so yes. thanks again thanks, katie guys. and andy this um, freaking cat though i can't with this cat right we also got, um, oh, I'll talk about this next. But that's not mail call, that's haul. Oh, sorry. So we got, and this is, you know, this is one of those thank you, no, thank oh, you, yes, no, yes. thank you. Remember the thank you circle, Annie? Yeah, this is the thank you circle. Um, we also got a gift card to another restaurant as a thank you for her receiving one of our bundles. Yeah. Um, we I guess really, when we say that we like We really food. appreciate it, Leslie. 
but you have to understand something. When we have a giveaway, it is not because we expect anything back. Okay. They know that. Okay. They know that. Okay. Pam, stop being a crappy receiver. I'm, I'm a terrible receiver, as you can tell. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. I'm very excited about this because it's been a while right. since I've had All right. This. So that's mail call. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you just keep talking about haul? So I'll just keep talking. Yep. That sounds good. Um, when waiting and waiting and waiting for this... See, I'm never going to do it in the order that nope. she wants me to do it in. Nope. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, was this was what? This was oh, new at market? Hmm. Oh, no? that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. This wasn't? No, that was... Um, I thought this was one we've been waiting for. It was, forever. but it just had been back order for like the last month. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, Madam Chantilly and... Um, market, market was in March, honey. It's July. <laughs> Know when it was okay. Okay, she's tapping me on the knee. I'm not supposed to touch her. Do knee, not touch my knee. But she's tapping all over. <laughs> Do not all touch over my knee. My knee. Um, our great friend, who's now down in Auburn, Maybe. our friend Megan, Georgia Girl Stitching, uh, showed her progress on this. She finished and, it. Yeah, she did. That's right. She finished the whole thing. Yeah. So go watch Meg, and um, uh, she made some cute little um, editorial changes on hers. And this is Madame Chantilly Summer. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were trying to remember something. Nope. Okay, so isn't this cute? Of course, I had to have it. It's called Celebrate Summer. Oh, it's called Celebrate mm -hmm. Summer. Okay, Madame Chantilly. Yeah. And um, I Which, loved what Meg did. She um, she added an anchor to this little vase, and I thought that was super clever. That is so cute. Yeah, so I got that. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, show that. Show the... What? No. What no, next? No. Nope. Sorry. Not going to do it? Nope. It's cool. Do whatever you want, Pam. You're an independent woman. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, this is from Rivera's, and so it had to come from Italy, and it took a, took a little time, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, right. I, I don't, it's like I don't. Pam doesn't have anything to stitch. I don't have anything so. to stitch. I have a whole room of stash, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Rivera's, and this is called Ocean of Liberty. Isn't that beautiful? So good. So, I ordered the chart. From Rivaris. From Rivaris. From her Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Look what she put in. She put in her hand dyed 32 count linen that you stitch yeah. this on. Whoops. Stitch that on. See that kind of putty kind of. So pretty. All right. So here it is. And it's 30 count, 32, hand, 32 count, hand dyed Italian, Italian linen. linen. And yeah, don't take the, the string off. I'm not, pretty. but look. So I've got I've got the fabric already. So check and, that out on her Etsy. Yeah, and everything's available in her Etsy shop. Yep. She said um, she would appreciate us highlighting this, and I'm more than happy Absolutely. to do so. Um, I didn't really want to untie the cute little... Um, twine and it says uh, handmade with love the little charm on there isn't that but like precious? that's gonna be gorgeous yeah so this is what I will stitch uh -huh. this on uh -huh. so isn't that great it's so great so um, this is uh, fabulous and I um, <clears throat> yes I'm just looking to see what her first name is well yeah is it L Lilla maybe um, but anyway, thank you for including that, and I, I'm just I know, very, so nice. very excited to get that. And yes, it's Lilla. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and she is on Instagram. <clears throat> Pardon me. So she's on Etsy. You might need this for the notes. Okay. And then she's also on Instagram yep, as well. For sure. And Steph brought home a. Because I brought this home too. Yeah, that's right. Steph brought that home for me. She knew I wanted. That's it why they were together in the pile. And, of course, I mixed everything up. Yep. Um, but this is one of the deliverings, and I, I've not really <coughs> been collecting, but I've stitched a few of these. Homespun Elegance, the delivering series. I love them, love them, love them. And, of love course, it. this is Delivering Wine Grapes. Can you see that? I mean, I it's mean, perfect for it's you. It's going to get stitched. It's going to get stitched. It's literally perfect, considering your wine delivery. Considering that I got another wine delivery this week, mm -hmm. exactly. It says, it looks like a, 
uh, a sheep mm -hmm. with a bunch of grapes in her mouth. There's a bird on the sheep's back. Oh, I didn't back. even notice the grapes in her mouth. That's so and cute. And then the big, I guess, vat of wine. Maybe it's a keg. Uh, or keg barrel. Is usually beer. Okay. Or a, a wine barrel. That's right. On wheels. Yes. And then the three bottles on the top of the barrel. Um, with a variety. So you got your white, variety. you got your pink, you got your red, red. You've got your, it's usually called rosé. I said red, rosé. You said and pink. White. No, I did not. I heard pink. Did you mm. hear pink? No, nope, didn't say pink. All right. And this isn't stitchy related, but it sort of kind of is. When I mentioned that I was looking for Mayflower needle minders, I <laughs> guess I was kind of getting antsy because there are some out there now. But somebody sent me a link to this Etsy shop, of which I haven't, yes, here it is, um, which is in the UK, and it's called Grace Ellis Illustration, and they had um, some wooden Mayflower needle minders. It would have cost twice as much to oh, ship really? the needle minder as the price of the Oh, I didn't minder. realize that. But I did a little looking around on their shop. And bought something anyway. And I ended up with a mug. And so this is the mug. And the design on the mug um, was uh, it's kind of like their signature uh, artwork for oh, the wow. 400th anniversary of the Mayflower. So, and I think it's kind of interesting that it's from the UK, from the England yeah. side of the pond if For i sure. get my drift so this is the mug and so cool. it came perfectly perfect look condition at the, look at the sale oh. yeah it's somebody should cross design this for cross stitch and then on the other side it says uh the mayflower 1620 to 2020 400th anniversary that's really cool so i got the mug and then they sent this cork a little something uh, extra to go with the mug. cork coaster and this looks more like the needle miners. Oh, does it? The needle okay. miners were wood, but they had this line drawing on it. Oh, very cool. So, um, and I was just, I looked, what? there was a note in here. Um, there was? Yeah, and she said, thank you for my fifth, fifth online sale. Go check her out. Buy, yeah. buy something from her. Because, yeah, do it. Um, I was kind of shocked by that. I don't know whether... Her name is Grace Ellis, I'm assuming. Yeah. Anyway, definitely. linked below, as we say. Linked below. So that for was my sure. last. Um, but I kind of got there by way of looking for a needle minder. Oh. So in that sense, it's kind of stitch related. Oh, um, okay. Got it. But um, I'm happy to get the mug. Yes, absolutely. We love a good mug, you know. We love a good mug. Yes, we do. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I have haul. You have haul. It's not very much, but it's two uh, things that I got from Keepsakes. Um, at Market, JBW released a super cute chart called Rabbits in the Round. Yep. And it was a monochromatic piece, and it had all these different kinds of bunnies. Well. Yeah. Let me just tell you that she has now released Kitties in the Round. Yep. She also, I think it's either doggies or puppies in the round um we're just cat people here so i just got the cat one but mm -hmm. there's a dog one available so look keep your eye out for that mm -hmm. um but this is so cute i love this um and i'm gonna put it with my bunnies and so she shows it i think i do believe this is two over two and then on the inside she shows it as one over one. Oh heavens so i'll be doing this one probably on 40 count yeah because duh yeah and then our girl, Jeanette Douglas, she has been um, doing the Sew Together series, and she's now on seven and eight of that series. So I ordered both of them. Number eight was back ordered from our distributor. So um, I'll show you number eight when, it, when I get it. But I got number seven, and number seven is Letters and Numbers. Isn't that pretty? And there we go. So you can see what it looks like right straight up. But I love the purples and the flowers and the mm -hmm. little baby house. Yeah. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Precious. And um, I think number eight is 
wools and silks, I think. Mm. So there's like a little sheep on it. It's super, super cute. But mm -hmm. Letters and Numbers, part of the Sew Together series from Jeanette Douglas. Jeanette, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you know, that's pretty much our week. Yeah. Um, and we know is, it's a shorter video today. It's a shorter video because it hasn't been that long. But that means that with the extra time that you have, go over to Sambray Stitchers and watch our interview. Yeah, so you got a twofer. You got a twofer, right. kind yeah. of. And um, mm -hmm. uh, that was so much fun to do that. So it was. Um, we hope you enjoy seeing that. Um, what are your plans for this week, Pam? My goodness. I don't have any big plans other than to just keep stitching. Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Um, I take my cats to the vet on Wednesday for their right. annual checkup. And right. then um, my brand, my new car that I got in December is going in for her first 5,000 mile checkup. Oh boy. She's such a good girl. Yep. Um, her name is Marilyn, in case you were wondering. Right. Um, so that's exciting. Right. And um, other than that. Yeah. If it would just stop raining, we, we could mow. Right. Um, but it, you know, we're, we get thunder. And it's so freaking hot. Yeah. We get, like, we, I'm not trying to pass out in my backyard. Every day there's thunder at some point in the day. Yes. And, and I like pull up the Florida. radar on my phone and it's, it's either heading right for us or it's all around us. Right. Going all around. Yes. Not hitting Mason, but close enough that we get thunder. It's so annoying. So anyway, um, that's going to do it. Yeah. Um, we had very little mail yesterday, mm -hmm. and so I think that probably Monday, tomorrow. Yeah, you're anticipating Tuesday, lots of mail. I, I'm, I'm thinking there's stuff on the way, so that should be exciting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, dinner's in the crock pot. Yep. We gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about there. So, anyway, um, have a great week. Yes. Um, the world is still in somewhat of a tailspin uh, yep so uh we hope you find solace in your stitching yes and um thank you for um uh, tuning us in welcoming Yay. us into your home mm -hmm. and uh, we love each and every one of you we and sure all of your wonderful support we know that um about half of the bundles have arrived yes. at their destination yes they have the rest and, should be there on monday and so everybody is getting their bundles and that's great nothing needs to come back right for the bundles it's okay Anyway, um, have a great week. We'll Yay. see you next week. And um, until then, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.